It'd be funny. Huh. Yeah. If there's any adults Samson's going to shoot, they're directly related to Nim. <laughs> I didn't know you were Nim was related to Oakley. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> You're my third removed. Wait, 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 you're surprise! Right. Oakley is Nim's on. Whoa! Oh, so Oakley does have a one in intelligence. <laughs> Only if Samson has a negative five. <laughs> uh, all right, everything's on do not disturb. I mean, that was the, the one who rolled I... for Nim's aunt's intelligence. I mainly did it as a joke. If I have to roll for her stats, I'll probably let Shay do it. I don't think let Shay do it. Look at the stats she already rolled. Ooh. No, stats for my secondary characters are already better than the first, and you know this. You've seen it, Rebel. <laughs> Ah, that's true! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. So what you're saying is, every campaign, you should roll for two characters. The first one will be dog water, and you play them first. And then the second one's the backup character you keep for when they die. No, I just always make the siblings cooler. On accident. It's 100% on accident. I don't believe that. Anyway! The, no! For so, Shay, it's 100% on accident. For the dice, it's 100% on purpose. See? So, that any Mahoozalah Thuzala. Long time since I said that. Um, <laughs> but Jane is laughing. Um, so, yeah, where we last left off was. Um, Hyala and Sam. Uh, Samson torturing Hyala about how much he likes her. Uh, Hyala being the biggest tsundere ever. On that arc of the tsundere where she's like, is, is she is she gonna break the tsundere? Is she not gonna break the tsundere? Uh, find out. I feel like we're on that arc of that. Nim's in the bathroom for some reason. I don't know why. Because I, I know... Uh, to take her nap. No. I know it wasn't to, like, pet. take a bath or some shit. Because that's where it's... It's because it. it's where the pets are. She yeah, the and like the fluffy. Also, it's it's where Samson and Gala aren't. Yeah, that's right. Nim ran away from the public displays. Yeah, they were being gross in public. Like God. Yeah, gross in public in this private room. Yeah, God, get some class, you guys. Yeah, sixty-nine, nice. <laughs> So yeah, so we'll start off with, oh god, I thought that was going to be more in line than it is. So anyway, Oakley will open up the door again. Hands... No. What? Wait, not Wait, Oakley, what? not yet. <laughs> okay, no Oakley, no yet. W Hold what on. do? <laughs> not bold 69 on accident, not that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what are you? What are you? 69ing? Why am I lost? It's first stop. Don't say it like that. It's session. Yeah. Number. Is it section 69? Yes. Uh, by our count, not by your count. There we go. Where the fuck did I put boundary? The what? Moon. Did you get kicked out? How the hell are you on 69? I'm on 67. This is 67. Hold up. How are you on 67? Your That's count the... is actually off. That How could it be off? I upload the videos every week. Look, I don't know. It sucks to suck, but you're off. <laughs> I literally can't be. Oh, Boys. wait. There was that session that got lost to the void. Right. Well... We don't talk about that. Just like we don't talk about Bruno. I mean, it's not like much happened. It's fine. I mean, anyway. if you stopped counting session zero to session one, we'd be on the exact same number. But, uh... Well, I mean, yeah, it was long enough to just be a session one. Yeah, it, well, it had none of the traits of a session zero. I didn't know what a session zero really was at the time, but I figured it was just a session to do introductions and... You know, have a session yes, you but then we passed the introductions after an hour, 
And that's what made it not really a Session Zero anymore. <laughs> well, I didn't know most Session Zeros go that I far. mean, it's fine. Usually, Session Zeros are supposed to be the shortest sessions that you really do. They take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the setup. But it's to introduce the characters, get anyone who's new to roleplay uh, familiar with the mechanics. If people haven't fought before, you give them their first run down of battle and whatever. Or it's five hours. And then a session. <laughs> Whee! But anyway, side tangents aside. Is she right on Then we'll come back out once again as uh, baby Samson, because I find it hilarious. Uh, the, the only thing is that a lot of- so a lot of session zero is supposed to take place above board? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It, oh, so okay. basically what we've been doing in the Avatar game has been session zeros to just kind of get everyone on the same page of what's going on. Oh. See, I took my inspiration from the session zero from what I did in your campaign or what we did in your campaign. My campaign was one session. Was literally one session, was supposed to be more, and never went further, but I, I thought yeah. that was like a session zero. No, that would be the first session. Well, oh. Because it had a little bit of everything. Well, yeah, you guys introduced each other in character, but the thing in session zero is to get all the players on the same idea. Session zero is before the game. It is for the players, not the character. Oh, yeah. that's weird. Oh, oh well. really? What, what is Nim doing? Okay, Nim's. What's the Nim doing? No, she's not. Let's be honest. Nim's baby Samson, and then is gonna broach the idea of teaching you guys runes while we wait for Oakley. Uh, sure. I don't got an issue with that. But did you not do it as me? Why? <laughs> it's kind of weird to learn from my younger self. <laughs> Doesn't everyone learn from their younger self? Oh my god, Shay, you've got one job right now, and I hope you do it. I don't know what that job is, but I hope it's the one I'm looking at. But anyway. It's true, Samson. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the last thing Samson said? Could you not do it as me? Yeah, and then I asked why. <laughs> it's weird and then he said because it's self. weird to learn from his, his younger self. But younger you has so much energy. Does... <laughs> what? What? I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Am I portraying your character as a child wrong? Am I drawing out the wrong kind of accent? Maybe you were higher pitched? Whatever did you do? <laughs> That's not the issue. Also, I don't remember. Whatever did you do? Higher. <laughs> Whatever did you do? <laughs> and then Hella flinches and regrets asking for it. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oops, I forgot I still have tabaxi hearing. <laughs> I have ears. My voice almost cracked. <laughs> Higher! Higher! <laughs> Kellis was like, I imagine. Wait, I a lot. Can I go higher? I don't want to test it. That hurts. <laughs> higher! Lower. Lower, 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 lower. Whatever did you do? Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 Going really high pitched, I almost swallowed my throat. It feels like it hurts. You almost <laughs> swallowed your throat? I said it feels like. And after the after this session, Shay won't be able to see or talk. Dang. No, that's never stopped me before. <laughs> well. Right, so anyway, awesome Nim's waiting for an answer in response you... to those various pitches. <laughs> Yellow's like, Yellow holds up three fingers. That's not the problem. Just 
Why are you looking like me and trying to teach us stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be amusing. I thought it would be amusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little weird. Yala, do you think it's weird? Do you? Particularly. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna she's gonna look at Samson and be like, Merrymaker, you realize that we're sitting in your college bedroom as war criminals for a wizard that cannot die and lives in all of our brains. Psychic link, but What's your point? tomato tomato. <laughs> this is nowhere near the weirdest thing that has happened this week alone. <laughs> And then Nim strikes the bang bang pose again. But doesn't say it this time. Well, I think you have a point. It's so weird looking at a mirror that's a few years too slow. Oh, I know what'll fix that, and then grows a beard. <laughs> <laughs> On a child! As baby Samson? Yes. As baby Samson! <laughs> Yellow's yeah, gonna rub her eyes. <laughs> How about I mean, now? Look. Is this less weird? How do I look? <laughs> um... More weird. Too much beard or too little beard? I can do more. I never had a beard at that age. Sucks to suck, I guess. Beard. What, Yellow? Do more beard. <laughs> Nim grows a beard that, like, touches her stomach. More. Keeps, I'm being called. Nim grows a beard until it's told to stop. <laughs> Yellow's the waiting until it's, like, the... on the floor and, like, circles Nim a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining a baby Samson, but it's like one of them Play-Doh dolls. Just the hair keeps getting squeezed out. Well, Kella is watching Nim as baby you circle her uh, circle a beard around herself several times. What's Samson feeling like in this moment? He is feeling very strange. <laughs> Which Samson? Both. Do I, do I, I don't know, Nim seems to be enjoying it. Nim seems to be enjoying it. Do, do I bring Oakley sure. right now? Do I open that can of worms? Yes. I mean, maybe do it when Shay gets back, but sure. She tries to shoot Nim and gets stuck in the beard. <laughs> <laughs> the beard just becomes prehensile. And the bullet travels down the beard over to the door and just hands her back the bullet. Yeah. Just spits it out, just goes hop. Uh, I have a problem. What's, What's the problem? problem? Black food. Get food. Solve that. I, I, I can't. I have some I'm doing pizza. something right now. I have some pizza. Turn on would my like DoorDash pizza? or something. Would you like some pizza? I have pizza. Here you go, have pizza. I had pizza yesterday. We'll have pizza again today. Pizza yummy. I was gonna have half of it and then have leftovers. That didn't happen. You ate a full pizza yesterday? Mm-hmm. How? Damn. How I could you hungry. possibly eat that much food? I mean, it wasn't a gigantic pizza. Oh, was but it was a pizza? I... Because... <laughs> any larger wouldn't have fit in my toaster oven. Oh, so it was like a, a what? A six-inch personal pizza or something? Like that? No, it was a. It was like a. A little less than a foot long. It was rectangular. It was still a personal pizza. It was like a school cafeteria pizza. No, it was decidedly supposed to be three servings. That didn't happen. At least that's what the box said. But it was yummy. And Foxes I lie it. about serving sizes all the time. And they mm -hmm. absolutely do. There's no way a can of Coke and a bottle of Coke that have different volumes could possibly both be one serving. 
It's the same liquid. Well, serving go serving changes by container. Yeah. But it's the same it, volume. It can also be a range. They're not gonna say one point two servings. They're just gonna round to one serving. But then it's not true. The serving should be based on the contents of the box, the caloric intake of the serving... substance contained. Serving is based on how they can justifiably claim no trans fat in food that obviously has trans fat. Yeah. Because anything that has been cooked has trans fats in it. What? Anything with fat that has been cooked in any way has trans fats in it. Uh... How? What do you mean how? So all fats are either cis fats or trans fats. The thing about trans fats is they're more stable. That's why the body can't break them down more. What happens when you heat it is the double bonds that make up cis and trans fats uh, are able to rotate because of the high temperature. Um, naturally, they're going to go into the trans position uh, during the heating. And because it's more stable that way, even after cooled, they remain in that position. Science. Sir. And the way that food companies can say no trans fat is that there's actually like a limit of trans fat that is like, if you're like below that threshold, you can say none. And so a lot of people will make their serving size such that that amount falls below that milligram threshold. The FDA is anti-American. No, the, the FDA is very pro-American. They just they just want more and more American. Per American. <laughs> the, <laughs> so, <laughs> so only the big ones can fit that much patriotism. <laughs> so you only I'm like there. you only have like half of that right. To convert a natural cis fat to a trans fat, you either have to put it through a chemical process to change the bonding. Or you have to otherwise create an irreversible chemical reaction via some kind it. of stimulus. No, you need higher heat. It's the same reason why when you cook a burger and the fat comes out, after a while it returns to being solidified fat. Trans fat never returns to a solid state at room temperature. That's because there's been a chemical transformation done to the bonding. That doesn't happen with normal cooking temperature. It's not hot enough. Even deep frying something at temperatures of like 300, 400 degrees, it's not enough. You can't break those hydrocarbon bonds down. It just doesn't happen. And you can see that every time you have bacon and the bacon grease re-solidifies once it cools. Trans fats are liquid at room temperature, which is why a lot of food production companies use them. They're easier to work with. But like you said, they're also unnatural, so the body can't break them down. That so, just pause on this. Happen. No, no, I'm learning. Keep going. Yeah. I was just gonna ask, was there anything said after I left? Oh, uh, whether or not Oakley should come by. Yeah. Which oh. is yes, so let's go. <laughs> so, Nim's got this beard growing and coiling out from around her. And, uh... Samson's feeling very uncomfortable, and it's at that time where yeah, because Child be... Samson is now some sort of beard lamia. <laughs> Nim will stop at like the second curl, I assume, <laughs> just because that's a bit ridiculous. And then she'll, as she stops, she'll hear the door open up behind her. Well, I'm back with the stuff. <laughs> Baby Samson's <laughs> head turns, and the beard just whips at the door. <laughs> <laughs> So she's just gonna look down and look up and be like, I, I, I was able to get your stuff. Oh, did you get the stuff? Yeah. Ain't that just dandy. Do y'all say dandy here? Sometimes, darling. And then she'll just close the door. <laughs> I never said it much. Well, that's because you were a little brat. Probably. 
don't That's because you, you have no idea what I was when I was a kid. How do you not remember what you were like when you were little? How do you remember what I was like when I was little? I didn't know you when I was little. I literally said, or was about to say, that I would assume so, unless you just became a brat when you hit your teens. Brat? He did. He decidedly did. <laughs> <laughs> literally that, yeah. Yep, literally that. Who's gonna tell her? <laughs> Anyway, you boisterous fool, here's your stuff. Oi! Just gonna set a crate down. You know, it's only about, like, um... I'd say two foot by one foot by one foot. So, when Oakley sets the stuff down, baby Samson Nim's gonna smack her for it. It's like, oh, pardon me for being so rude, I forgot! And then it's gonna flip Oakley off. And, uh, Oakley's just gonna <laughs> look up. And see that? Look at Hyala, and then look at Samson. And then just <laughs> Samson right upside the back of the head. Ah! Hyala's, Hyala's gonna like hop up at that. She's like, whoa. <laughs> Why? What's that far? You think I wouldn't recognize that? That was the first thing he did when he came here. Every time somebody tried to catch him to a duel, it's like, oh, let me give you a greet, and she just starts putting her hands on her hips and rocking them back and forth. Let me give you a greeting from my part. And then Oakley starts flipping off random walls in the room. How could you possibly taint such a nice young lady? What is wrong with Nim you, Nim looks like a boy right now. True. But Yala's still yelling. Sometimes so nice young ladies look like boys. <laughs> This boy has a beard, so I would assume no. Hey, just because they have a beard doesn't mean they don't want to be a girl. Jeez, God. How archaic is your thinking? Fuck, uh, typical changelings. <sighs> Can't accept people for who they are. Hey, address me as the gender I look. Unless you're about to tell me somehow that that wasn't you. In which case, I'd love to hear that. Not like you'd believe me anyway. Well, I believed you on every other crazy thing that's come out of your mouth today so far, so what's for another? I can't believe you still expect me to believe you read a book. And yet, somehow, I don't think you're lying to me. Which is even crazier. <laughs> and Samson pulls out the book as he's putting the offset. Oh, she uh, she got like in the bag of holding. He's gonna pull out the book. She is going to like not rudely snatch it, but like excitedly grab it and start flipping through. It's like praise me, there are miracles in the world. And she's just gonna grab it and hold it up to the ceiling. Hey, can be taught. Oh, happy day. What book was it he gave? She, the, he gave the her Drake and Iraqi, like the ancient Drake and Iraqi military guy. She's like holding it, and then she's looking at it, like, where did you get this? This is old. Old wizard. You know, they somehow tracks. Yeah, I assume the old wizard got from an old lizard. I'm not really too sure how. <laughs> old wizard. Old lizard. <laughs> and then as she's giggling, Samson's gonna have like a little smirk on his face as he finished putting everything in there. Uh, let me know how much of what and where is why. Uh, so when you slide off the lid of the box, you're gonna see it's got um, some thatch stuffing. You know, well, you know, common you know, prevent stuff from rattling around in crates and breezes. And you will receive. You'll, you'll see another little box that's probably the reshelling kit, even though you haven't opened it up yet. You see, fine, decent rope. It's not like super fantastical, but it's usually the stuff you know you can get from VOD. Sometimes a little better than what you can get elsewhere, but if you get lucky at a market, you could probably find something even more 
Nice, more fancy. But it's durable, strong enough. There'll be about, um, say 20 feet of that. It's not a very big box, and it's wrapped pretty tightly, so 20 feet's probably stretching what you fit in there. Oh, it stretches too? Figuratively. <laughs> Bastard. And in the bottom... Uh, what type of, what type of rope? Um, pick a plant that has qualities of, like, hemp that you would think would grow in Varesis. I.e., I, you can fill that in later. Okay. It's Hemp-ish probably going to be some kind of native shrub or native plant that can be used for making rope. Because her is so dry, it's probably not going to be something like hemp, which I'm pretty sure is kind of akin to... It's not akin to wheat, but it, it, it's a crop. And Varesis obviously doesn't have a ton of those. You follow me? You pick it up mm-hmm. one foot down? So, you know, a, a little bit of fun market research for you. Try and find a plant that would meet a certain description, or even just borrow qualities from existing plants and hand me a homebrew plant. I am more than happy to implement a homebrew plant. We have plenty of animals, we don't actually have enough vegetation. We have the one that matters. Yeah, we have catnip. Yeah. The one that matters. But, um, it will be made of that. So obviously it should have hemp like qualities. And um, then under that you dig a little and you find six health potions. However, I don't remember the classifications of health potions. I know there's like four. Somebody want to run those by me again so I can make a quick decision on what they are? I got normal, you! Normal, less normal, good, and awesome. <laughs> Alright, he's got me. Oh. It's okay, Jade. You get a gold star for trying. Alright. No, I'm okay. Oh. Oh, cool. There's potions of giant strength, too. I actually have to review through potions and stuff. Alright, so we got, um... Um, normal, less normal, super, and awesome. <laughs> I, I need the mechanicals. Uh, uh, healing is 2d4 plus 2. Uh, greater is 4d4 plus 4. Uh, superior healing is 8d4 plus 8. And supreme is 10d4 plus 20. Wow. Uh, did I already say how many... How many bottles were in the box, or no? I think you said, like, six. Yeah, I'll, I'll say there's... What did it say? It was normal, greater, and then what? Greater, superior, and supreme. Greater, <laughs> superior, and supreme. Uh, we'll say there's six superior health potions in there. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck yeah. So not the highest, but also not, you know... <laughs> She wasn't as cheap as she could possibly be. Well... <laughs> she cares! Yeah, she Sam, actually cares! Yeah, Samson would know that Supreme Potions are very uncommon and broad. And usually when there is one there, it's from one of the rich kids bringing it in. In fact, sometimes... Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes there's actually an overstock on potions because uh, the rich kids parents will not allow them to go and use quote-unquote inferior potions so they basically buy the supreme version of the same brand of potions but yeah they think it's better just because they bought it for a, a larger price from some fancy upmarket source as opposed to free from school <laughs> But Samson would know that. Sam- Samson would know that Oakley definitely looked for the best that she could get her hands on. 
they're even fresher too. Didn't reach to the back of the shelf. <laughs> Or at the front of the shelf. My retail days are long behind me, so I, I, I don't remember how Always for the best. Yeah. Every once in a while I remember, and uh, it causes great pain. And how many bullets? Oh, yeah, that's right, she was bringing those too. There will be, um, two boxes. Um, so a hundred. Is that, is, are boxes normally packaged in counts of 50? 50 is the standard side, at least it's what I was getting for research. You can get like little itty bitty ones if you want like 20. What? Yeah, oh, if you need to she, like hand them out at like a birthday party or Varesis something. Varesis doesn't strike me as the kind of place that has small quantities of bullets. It's like, I'll go through these in a day, what's the point? Yeah, so um, I was actually gonna ballpark around 60. But if it's kind of a standard 50, let's not reinvent the wheel. So each box will hold 50. What? I don't know. I like the sound of more. You would. But <laughs> I have been informed that there is a more standard, realistic equivalent that has them in counts of 50. So we will use At least that. I think it's 50. Well, uh, let's hope it's not 60. But he will have two boxes of 50. The wheel of fate is turning. <laughs> so, an extra hundred? Yeah. Cool. And you don't have to really... You can treat those boxes as if they're bundled. You, you don't have to exactly count out from one and count out from I another. literally just added them to my, like, our standing bullet count and called it a day. Yeah, okay, that's Woo. fine. Obviously, hmm. if you want to you know, really watch your inventory, once you go through like 50 bullets, you can say you emptied out one of those boxes and now you have an empty box if you really, really want to keep an empty box for any reason. Could be I'll, useful. we'll see if I remember. We'll see if you remember. And since I'm going to like look these over, you know, see how they're doing, it's like, it's actually gonna um, ask Oakley a question. Um. Now, these are a pretty standard make and model bullet, but in your travel, have you ever found some that are like better? What do you mean better? I like. And I'll actually, I'll actually go over and sit on the couch. I'm thinking, like, if. Like, there's gotta, like, hmm. Like, my guns, for example. I think I shot better with these than the than how they were before I went to Zanzibar. I'm not sure how the old man tuned them up, but he really did a number on them, and it's been showing. There, there's something that's for sure. Then you but, see she's got that Varishi glint in her eye of just staring at your guns. But... I was wondering if, like, like, are these bullets as good as they can get, or is there a way to make them better? She's just gonna take a, a little, a short but deep breath, it's like, well? And he's kind of, like, a little lost in his own thought. Well, Samson, you know... If you actually showed up to Firearms 101 at all, and ever read the book at all, you'd know that yes, there are different types of bullets. There are hollow bullets, there are tracker bullets, there are vile bullets that can be filled with acids and all other things. There's flat tips, round tips, flashing shots, but as is Bod's failure, you did not read that book. And I swear 
Although, and I can never seem to convince them otherwise, out of all the stupid books that we stupid get to stupid teach these stupid kids, bless their hearts, that should probably be the one that we cram down their throats, and yet for some reason it's left to a 101 course that isn't even exactly considered mandatory to receive certification. Woe be my heart. Woe be the Varetian firearm in the hands of one who does not know a bullet. And she'll just take her hat off and press it over her, her chest. As if in mourning. Hmm. Samson's going to get up and move over here. Check this little, like, drawer to see if he can find that book. Because he's pretty sure that's where he left it. Uh, make a history check at advantage. Or an investigation. Wait. Or an investigation check at advantage. I suppose investigation would probably make more sense, but since I already said history, I'll let you pick whichever one might be higher. So they yeah, probably it's the same in. difference. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both in, in base. I would know. Kobe's smart and has high end. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Well, there's a 19. Oh, yeah, you did roll. Uh, I was looking at the top. Numbers. I haven't even noticed that the chat was going on. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, base 10. No mention DC. So you find it. You know exactly where it is. Now, I hope it's here's good. a question for Samson. Has it collected dust? Like, more dust than would be on it from him just being gone um, on the letter mission. I want to say yes, but at, like, a lower rate because probably all of his books would be in there. He, he, he might not be a good student, but he still cares about, like, the, the organization of his living space. Ah, so it's probably, like... <laughs> he spent more time putting them away than he has reading them. I'm more surprised that he owns them. Right? But yeah, no, okay. Y you have retrieved the book. Congratulations. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba book of Tain. <laughs> what was it? Ammunitions 101 or something like that? Well, it's for, uh, it's for Firearms 101. Right, Probably one of those classes that you really didn't feel you needed to go to because, well, if if you already knew what a 101 was supposed to be or asked Oakley when she was first telling you what classes you were going to, what a 1 is, you probably would have figured, oh, it's to teach people who are gunned about guns. Why would I need to go to that? <laughs> I am the gunnerist. I think he just did that with all of them. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> his, his ego... His ego becomes him. He never needed it until now. He never knew he needed it until now. So Samson's going to, like, blow off the dust from the book as he, like, sits down and stows it back in his, um, in his bag of holding. He's just gonna take the book and stow it? Yeah, I mean, it's his book. True. Well, at least I assume it'll get some use. Any point is a good point, even if it's late. Of 
course, I suppose I should be over enthralled over your newfound. What's the word I want? Your newfound encouragement for reading. You know, literacy is quite an important skill, young man. <coughs> I mean, eh? Yeah. My mom did teach me how to read. Congrats. Samson's mom literate confirmed? <laughs> confirmed, yeah. La last session it was not <laughs> clear. Well then you are lucky. Not every nomad gets to read and gets to learn how to read when they're little. I certainly did. You were a nomad? You were little, I'm kidding. And she's just <laughs> she's gonna look, look at Samson with this like Take a good look at me and ask that again. Have you seen her complexion? Of course she was outside a lot as a child. I wear my native clothing. I have my native <laughs> accent. I'm, I'm kissed by the sun near directly. Of course I was, you geek. I'll never expect you to be some sort of spoiled child. Stuck in doors. You know, do whatever those little rich kids do. But there's a lot more of a racist than a no man. You know that for a fact. Otherwise, we wouldn't have so many cities. I suppose that is true. In the last few decades, a lot of people start coming here. Usually for the same reason that we, anyone does. But... So, any other questions you got? Oh, is that firearms book gonna teach me how to use the Rochelle kit, or should that be fairly straightforward? Now, she's gonna have a little look of surprise, like, huh. Now, somehow, I would have figured having dealings on the black market, you would already have, knew how to reshell a shell. Nope. Fine, take it out. I'll teach you the most useful skill anybody probably could learn. Of course, that's another thing they won't let us teach. Mm, better for them to buy bullets than to be able to make them on their own. She says under gritted teeth. And I'm guessing Samson takes out the reshelling kit for her. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she will go set it up and demonstrate to Samson how to reshell a bullet. Although she doesn't actually have any spent bullets, you know, available. So it, it'll be a, a, a conceptual demonstration, if that's good enough. That should be fine for Samson. What, what, what the Cal and them doing? Going uh, over the rooms. They were talking about beards, and then they were talking about the difference between people face and cat face. Yeah, and now and runes. He, yeah. Yeah. Because Cal <laughs> was like, I'm uncomfortable with this conversation. Let's talk about runes. <laughs> I'm, un I'm uncomfortable talking about my face. Talk about anything. No, Nim made it weird. Well, no, no. Kiel is the one who brought it up initially. She's like, yeah. hey, Nim, does this face make my face look fat? <laughs> and I was like, nah, homie. <laughs> so yeah, Samson will get his demonstration. And I don't think it's very complicated, so we'll say it takes about an hour. You know, a nice, decent lecture. <laughs> yeah, because leave it to Oakley to get to the point. Well, uh, I'd <laughs> say give it an hour, probably because, you know, maybe there was something Samson didn't really understand. 
where he was asking questions, how to do things, you know, more, yeah. more, uh, yeah, a conversation, as opposed yeah. to her not being able to. And I guess at the same time, uh, y'all could roll for Nim's rune lesson. Yeah. yeah. Roll for Nine. lesson. <laughs> okay. Unless? Learns. <laughs> she learned. I'll be right back. Bye. Well, she put learns an asterisk, so I guess a roll isn't necessary. Did you, I wasn't told what to roll. It's intelligence. <laughs> okay. I was not told that. We, we rolled for it before. Yes, and I don't remember things. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember that? God, I can't believe you're being such a fool. You do remember things. <laughs> Obviously not if I keep forgetting! Oh, I don't remember. What was the threshold for that rule? <laughs> I don't I remember don't... either! <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll give you a D. Damn. Really? I didn't add that as a macro? Okay. You get a plus three. Well. Oh, it doesn't take my stupid name. So, so well. I thought yeah. you remembered, but next time you don't remember the roll, just tell me you don't remember it, because otherwise I'm going to assume if it's a roll you already done, you remember what it is. Nah, man, that? this is D and D. Assume your players are stupid. You don't want me to. You don't want me to assume you're stupid. <laughs> I feel, I feel challenged. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shay, let's go. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Three. What, game? What, what game are we playing? What animal? So I you guys think... may not know this, but I actually was born blonde. Don't. I think me. that the sun is made of potato chips because they are both yellow. You think uh, the sun's no, real? The sun's made of sunny D. That's where they get it from. No. It's clearly orange juice. Oh my god. Uh, that is sunny D. No. No, it's not. My mom said it's fake. Your mom's fake. <laughs> Judy said my mom's fake. Tell them to take it back. I don't know how to say word that <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> Having been struck with perpetual stupidity, all three of your characters take a minus three to intelligence. Yay! Well, well Samson's can't go dead. much lower, and he still talk. No, Samson's much- if Samson had three lower, he'd be practiced. <laughs> wow. Good for him. But now, if Praxis had three lower, would he be Remy? And if Remy had three lower, they'd be dead. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, isn't it if you have a zero in intelligence, you're dead? If you have a zero at any stat, you die. Oh. Even charisma? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> kinda you're- want Ella to lose charisma. You- okay, so, for charisma, because- you basically, like, your soul dies. You just no longer have, like, a personality or any drive. Ah. You, so, are, uh, you are a car with no driver. Droopy, just sitting there until you rot in the sun. Good. Very good. So, charisma is chronic depression. Uh, wisdom is a lack of... Panic attacks to death. It, yeah, it's a lack of survival instinct. So you anxiety death. Well, no, with, with a lack of wisdom, death. you literally lose your grip on reality, and your heart basically gives out from stress. Yay! Oh. Uh, it me. In intellect, you go become brain dead. Um, constitution, your vital organs shut down. 
It also um, me. I think with dexterity, I think like like strength and dexterity, basically, you're like your blood just ceases to flow. Mood. I don't know. I feel like the dexterity would just be regimortis. 